Zooms is a non-destructive scientific way to identify animal species from very small samples. They can be used on a variety of animal remains, even parchment. Sampling parchment is easy. All you need is your parchment, a piece of paper, plastic eraser, and a small sample tube. You place the paper under your parchment and gently wipe the parchment with the eraser. Parchment is made from animal skins, which are made of millions of strands of protein called collagen. Close up, these proteins look similar to a mass of curly hair. Stroking the sample with an eraser results in the triboelectric effect, where an electrostatic charge is generated as the eraser drags electrons from the collagen. In much the same way as a balloon can drag the electrons from your hair. The sampling is extremely gentle, as most collagen fibres fall back to the surface. It's only the strands that are already loose that become wrapped up in small fragments of a razor that slide off and roll up into tiny scrolls. It's this eraser waste, or air dew, that's collected and then sent away for analysis. The long curly collagen molecules need to be extracted from the eraser and cut into smaller fragments called peptides. This is done by adding a small amount of an enzyme, trypsin. The solution is mixed and incubated at 37 degrees Celsius for four hours, allowing the trypsin to digest the collagen strands into peptides. In the warm solution, the long twisted strands unravel into thin gelatin threads, allowing the trypsin to move in and cut each thread into peptides. After digestion, the peptide-rich liquid is acidified and separated out from the eraser particles. Finally, the solution is filtered to remove contaminating particles, leaving a pure acidic peptide solution Analysis is carried out with a maldi toff MS, which is short for Matrix Assisted Laser Desorption Ionization Time of Flight Mass Spectrometer. The sample is spotted out onto a metal sample plate and mixed with a coloured compound or matrix, then left to dry out before going into the machine. As the solution dehydrates, the matrix crystallises around the peptides. A laser is then fired very briefly at the sample. The matrix absorbs almost all of the energy and is vaporised, releasing the peptides in a cloud of molecules. Protons from the vaporised matrix collide and stick to some peptides, giving them a positive charge. The maldi toff then generates an electric field, a burst of energy, which accelerates these charged peptides down a vacuum tube. All the peptides are given the same amount of energy. Therefore, those with a smaller mass accelerate quicker. The peptides are reflected toward a detector by an ion mirror, increasing the distance the peptides travel. This increases their separation with larger peptides arriving later than the smaller ones. The time of flight to reach the detector corresponds to the mass of the peptide, and the resulting image is a series of peaks indicating both the mass and the intensity of the detected peptides. Each sample provides a unique fingerprint, and by comparing results to an expanding database, it's possible to make a secure ID of the species origin of the sample. The more this database grows, so too will the ability to identify the type of animal used to make the parchment.